Hello everyone, again this is Crystal Haney at Bays Mountain Park and Planetarium in Kingsport, Tennessee. We're going to talk about snakes again today, but on a little bit different topic, we're going to talk about venomous versus non-venomous snakes. Now here in the state of Tennessee, there are actually 32 different species of snakes. In East Tennessee, however, we only have 23 of them. Now above me, we have a nice uh, drawing of all the 23 different species of snakes here in East Tennessee. Hopefully you'll get a chance to come up here and look at that one day. But of the 23 different species of snakes here in East Tennessee, we have two that are venomous. And a venomous snake is different than an organism that we would call poisonous. Something that is poisonous you have to touch it to get the chemicals absorbed to your skin, like poison ivy, or you ingest it like a poisonous mushroom. A snake, however, is not poisonous. It is what we would consider venomous. There are no such thing as poisonous snakes. If I was to eat a snake, it would not poison me. If I was to drink the venom from a snake, it would not hurt me. So technically, snakes are venomous. They are not poisonous. So of the two venomous snakes that we have in East Tennessee, we have both right here for you to look at. We have the copperhead, which is more of a light brown snake with a darker brown hourglass that goes down the sides of their body. And they get about three to four feet long. And then we also have the timber rattlesnake. There are two in our enclosure. The one to your left there, the smaller one, is the female. And the longer one there, all sprawled out, that is the male that we have. So these are the timber rattlesnakes. There are different species of rattlesnakes, but timber is the species we have here in East Tennessee. Now you can see the rattles on the end of their tail. That's where they get their name. The rattles are formed by when they shed their skin. Every time they shed, they add a new button to their rattle. It is a myth that you can age a rattlesnake by the rattles because every time they shed, they add one. So if they shed five to seven times a year, they would have five to seven buttons. Um, and also those buttons do break off. So you cannot age one by the rattle. But the older one there, the bigger one, he is about 20 years old. And the smaller one, she's about six years old. As you can see, they have different color phases. They can come in black, yellow, brown, or the multicolored with the black cross bands going down their body. They get about five to six feet long in length. They like more of a rocky area compared to the copperheads, which like more moist areas. So copperheads you'll see more near water, where the timber rattlesnakes you'll find more up on a mountain high up in the rocky areas. So today we're going to talk about how you would determine if you saw a venomous snake versus a non-venomous snake. Now, things I'm going to tell you are only true for our area. So here in East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia. If you go to other parts of the country, you cannot follow these rules. And if you go to other parts of the world, you cannot follow these rules either. So this is only true here that we live in East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia. But there are four ways to tell a venomous from a non-venomous snake. I do have some drawings to help you out to uh, give you more of an image of what I will be talking about. But we're gonna start with some of them that are not uh, the best ways to tell because these ways you have to get pretty close to the snakes. But there are ways to still tell, okay? So the first one actually has two of the ways on it. You'll see the faces of the two snakes. On your left is a venomous snake and on the right is a non-venomous snake. So as you can tell on the venomous snake, they have a slit pupil. Um, looks like a cat eye, and then on the non-venomous snake, they have a more round pupil, kind of like me and you. Now, this is something you don't want to get real close to the snake to look at, but if you see a snake behind glass, like you would here at Bays Mountain, you can look at something like that and see the different pupil shapes. Another thing that you'll see different is on their face, and I'm going to point it out to you, on the venomous snake, they have an extra hole between their eye and their nostril. On the venomous, non-venomous snake, it does not have that. Now, that is what we would call a pit. So, both copperheads and timber rattlesnakes are pit vipers. That pit sees infrared, so they can hunt at nighttime and see the heat off a living object. So when the mouse runs by, they can see the animal's heat. They know exactly where to strike, even though it may be pitch black outside. So that allows these animals to hunt at nighttime. Where the non-venomous snake does not have that pit, they can only hunt during the day. So again, those are two ways to tell. Not the best ways, because you have to get pretty close to a snake's face to see those, and you probably don't want to get that close in the wild to a snake's face. Another way to tell is by the belly scales. So this shows two bellies. 
On your left is the non-venomous snake. On the right is the venomous. And this part I'm going to point out, the cloaca, above the cloaca, this would be their belly. Below the cloaca, this would be their tail, all right? So the cloaca is very noticeable. It's a lot more rounded compared to the other scales. Now, the bellies of both venomous and non have one scale that runs all the way from the uh, from your left to the right, all the way across. But if you see after the cloaca, on a non-venomous, the scale actually splits into two. So you have two scales per line over the one scale per line. On a venomous, it stays the same on the tail as it does the belly. I think VH1, venomous has one all the way down its entire body. So it, the scales do not change on the tail, but a non-venomous does change the scales. Now, of course, you don't want to go pick up a live snake and look at its tail, but you can use this to look at a shed. Snakes do shed their skin, so if you found a shed at your house, you could look at that and determine whether the shed came from a non-venomous or a venomous snake to see what you might have around at your house. So those were three ways to tell, but again, not the best ways to tell because you have to get really close or you'd have to interact with the snake, which is not something you want to do. So the best way to tell is the fourth way, which is the head shape of the snake. On your left is the venomous snake. On the right is the non-venomous snake. And if you can see on the venomous, the jaws protrude out from the neck. That's because their venom glands are in their jaws. And those venom glands run up to their two hollow fangs that they have to inject the venom into their prey. So it kind of pooches their jaws out a little bit so they stick out farther than their neck. A non-venomous snake does not have venom glands, so their neck and their head are almost proportioned um, exactly the same. So that is something you can see from a distance. We're going to kind of show you a snake um, a little bit farther away, but see if you can tell that it does have that diamond or triangle-shaped head. Something you don't have to get very close to, to look at or look for. You can see that from a distance. That would be the best way to identify a venomous snake here in our area. Now again, I did tell you they have different colors, different patterns, don't always go with that, however, because some snakes can have genetic mutations where they do not look exactly like a regular snake should, or, and colors and patterns are seen differently by different people. So the head shape would be the best way to tell from a distance if you see that, that it is from a, a probably a venomous snake about 99% of the time. Now, some snakes in our area do have shovel-shaped heads they like to use for digging under pine litter. The northern pine uh, snake is one of those snakes that have kind of a shovel-shaped head. But anytime you see that di uh, diamond or triangle-shaped head, you do want to stick clear and give that snake plenty of space. Now, here in the next uh, uh, video, we will talk about snake safety and how to uh, stay safe when you are around snakes or in snake country, you're hiking. But again, we just wanted to tell you a little bit about venomous versus non on this one. And uh, we'll return in the next video to tell you how to coexist and stay safe with snakes. Thank you.